ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck, and a very warm welcome on board this British Airways operated Airbus A320, the 1396 to Manchester. My name is Johnny Irwin, I have the pleasure of being your first officer on today's flight. My colleague on the flight deck in command of the aircraft is Captain Wayne Schofield. And looking after your comfort and safety in the back, we have an excellent team of six cabin crew, and they're led by our customer service manager, Chris Walton. Thank you all for joining us so promptly, we're just about ready to go. Just waiting for the air bridge to move away and then we'll be clear to push back and probably a 10 to 15 minute taxi uh, to the runway here at Heathrow, taking off for a flight time of around 40 minutes. Lovely day to go flying, expecting smooth conditions along the way to Manchester, but however, just a few words on safety from myself. You'll notice that the seatbelt signs are switched on in front of you. Once we do get airborne, we will be switching those off. However, if we feel the need to put them back on at any time, Please do return to your seat and fasten your seatbelts. Also, this chair recommends whenever you are seated, do keep that seatbelt fastened just in case we encounter any unexpected turbulence. I'll be doing the flying today, so I'll get back to you a bit later on with the latest weather and arrival time into Manchester. Thanks very much for listening, and I hope you enjoy this service with us. until the end of the briefing. All handheld devices, including mobile phones, must now be in flight safe mode or switched off and held securely or placed into a pocket. Larger devices, including laptops, must be switched off and stowed away safely. If you do have any questions, please ask a member of the cabin crew. Thank you. that you remove your personal headphones. The captain and the crew are here for your safety. It is important that you pay attention and follow instructions carefully. First, check your seatbelt is securely fastened. Insert the metal tag into the buckle and tighten by pulling on the loose end. To unfasten, simply lift up the metal flap on the buckle and pull apart. You'll find the seatbelt sign in the panel above your head. When it's on, you must fasten your seatbelt. 
will provide extension seatbelts for infants. If you are not in your seat when the seatbelt sign is switched on, please return to your seat and fasten your seatbelt securely. We suggest you keep your seatbelt fastened and visible during our flight, even when the sign is off. Your life jacket is underneath your seat. To use it, take it out of the container and place it over your head. Pass the tapes around your waist and tie them securely in a double bow at your side. Inflate your life jacket when you leave the aircraft. We will supply infant flotation aids for babies and children. In the unlikely event of the aircraft having to make an emergency landing, you'll be told to take this protective brace position. We will now explain how to leave the aircraft in an emergency. Move quickly to the closest usable exit, taking nothing with you. High-heeled shoes must be taken off as they may tear the evacuation slide. Emergency lighting, including floor level lighting, will help you find your way to the exits. These are clearly signed. There are two exits at the rear, two overwing exits on each side, and two exits at the front of the aircraft. Your crew will now point out the exits nearest to you. To open the main doors, pull the large handle inwards and upwards. The overwing exits are opened by removing this cover and pulling the handle inwards and downwards. The hatch should be ejected through the opening. Opening the doors and overwing exits automatically inflates the evacuation slides. The slides can also be inflated by pulling the handle at the main doors and this handle at the overwing exits. Jump onto the slide and move away from the aircraft. If the aircraft has landed on water, you should leave by the overwing exits. Other exits may be opened if above the waterline and the slides detached for use as flotation devices. As you leave the aircraft, inflate your life jacket by pulling the red tag. If necessary, blow into this mouthpiece to top up the air. The life jacket is fitted with a light and a whistle. Your oxygen mask is behind the panel just above your head. If the cabin air system should fail, this will be released. Stay in your seat and pull the mask towards you to open your supply. Please note that the bag does not inflate. Place it over your mouth and nose and adjust the band to secure it. Then breathe normally. Do make sure your own mask is correctly fitted before helping anyone else. You may continue to use handheld electronic devices during taxi, takeoff and landing if flight safe mode is enabled and they are held securely or placed into a pocket. Larger devices such as laptops must be safely stowed at these times. Any transmitting devices without a flight safe mode must be switched off for the duration of the flight. For further information on using electronic devices in flight, please check High Life magazine. Take care your hand baggage isn't blocking the exits or aisles. Personal bags must be put under the seat in front of you, and larger items should be placed securely in the overhead locker. Please place all items in carefully, so they do not fall out and cause injury. As this is a no-smoking service, smoking is not permitted at any time whilst on board. As we prepare for takeoff, please make sure that your tray table is put away, your seat is upright, and your armrest is down. Finally, take a look at the safety card in the seat pocket. If you have any questions, please ask me seriously. We hope you have a relaxed and enjoyable flight.
We are about to start our onboard service. We have a great selection of food and drinks available to buy. You can find details of today's MS onboard menu in your seat pocket in front of you. Please note payment can be made by using either a 